Hi, I'm Landy Kiesig with ICEV. Thank you for joining us for the Health Science Not Just for Humans session today. We are excited to have Melissa Tice from Dorchester County Career and Technology Center um, as our presenter for this session. Thank you for joining us today, Melissa. And if you could just give a little introduction to yourself and the school that you are with. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, again, my name is Melissa Tice. I teach at Dorchester County Career and Technology Center in Dorchester, South Carolina. My background is I am a registered nurse and I found my passion for teaching when I started um, training new nurses that I was working with. Um, and then I gradually switched over to the education side and I have a master's degree in nursing education. Um, and I have been here, this will be my fifth um, school year that I've been with the Dorchester County Career and Technology Center. Awesome, thank you. If you want to um, jump right into your presentation um, and there will be a live Q&A after this so everybody can ask Melissa all the questions um, that um, you may have. So I will just let you kick it off, Melissa, and I'm excited to hear what you have to say. Okay. All right. Um, so I am doing the health science, not just for humans, and oh, yeah, there we go. Um, with that, um, this is the veterinary medicine course with ICEV, and my students actually love this um, class. So, like I said, I already um, introduced myself a little bit. And I've been doing the veterinary medicine class for the last two years and my students really enjoy this class because they get to do um, their lessons, but then they also get to do some clinical time where they go to an actual vet office and they get to put what they've learned in the classroom into a real life setting. Um, so the ICV courses that I use, I currently just use the veterinary medicine class. Um, and we talked about adding medical terminology as a, an option for the students here at the school. Um, and we also teach CNA here as well at the school. So we were looking into that as another option. Um, since a lot of the classes and schools around the country are looking into more virtual options. Um, so for the veterinary medicine class, my students are able to complete everything in this curriculum in one semester. And like I said, they do their 40 hours of clinical time. They come in to class and Right now, like this was when we were able to do like actual face to face class, they would come in and I would have their um, worksheets printed out for them. And they would just grab a worksheet and get logged into it. And they were very self sufficient and they get through all of their lessons. Um, and I'm available to ask them questions because the same time I teach the veterinary medicine course, I also have another um, health science class that I'm teaching at the same time. Um, the students have also done, like, when you log into the ICEV course, there are other lessons for them to do and activities. So there's projects and papers that they can write. So I've had my students do those as well. And they really enjoy doing the research for these assignments um, and turning them into me. Let's see. So, like I said, my students come in and I have, um, my last class was 20 students, but again, that was like another health science class. And then I think four of them were the veterinary medicine students. And like I said, they would just come in, grab their papers, and then they would get to work. And then I'm available for them to um, if they have questions, if they need help getting through an assignment. Um, but for the most part, they usually get through them on their own. Um, and they watch the videos. And all of my students have, or well, all of them that have taken the exam 
have passed their exam. Um, and they're really excited when they get their certificate. Um, and it's very user friendly, even to do the exam for their certification portion. Um, they just come in and log in and get to work. Awesome. Thank you, Melissa. Um, and like I said before, Melissa will be available for a Q&A session right after this, if you want to use the link below for that Q&A session. Um, I'm here with Clayton Franklin, Executive Vice President of Brand Management, and Clayton is going to talk about our veterinary medicine curriculum, how it was created, and also how it can lead to an industry certification. So Clayton, if you want to take it away. Sure, let me share my screen here. Okay, Landy, does that look good to you? Yes, looks good. Okay. I will so what I'm here, I'm logged in as um, an Ag Science user. I do realize that in some instances, our veterinary medical application uh, course is used in health science, which was the purpose of this, uh, this session here. But because I give demonstrations and things like this, this is where I um, just land automatically is on this Ag Science page. So the Vet Science course, whether you're teaching it from a health and as a health science teacher or as an agricultural science teacher, it's gonna be organized exactly the same and have the same content. So I just wanted to come in and I wanted to add this veterinary medical applications course um, to my My Courses page. So we can take a look at the content that is actually in the course. So let me add the course. And we're on my courses page and I'm going to view that course. And these are all of the lessons that are included in this course. The course was created with um, state and national standards in mind, as well as standards that would be applicable to earning an industry certification. So those industry standards as well. So not state, not only state educational standards, but also industry standards were taken into consideration when developing this content. Additionally, the content was developed in collaboration with practicing veterinarians, both small animal veterinarians and large animal veterinarians. And as you can see here, it's going to start out with a foundation of just animals and their importance to our society um, and how the different uses for animals and things like that. We also talk about um, veterinary business management. So there's a great lesson that goes over the ins and outs of all of business management from a veterinary perspective. We go into the laws and ethics of veterinary, science, of veterinary medicine, a lot about terms, a lot about the use of Latin and how, how students can look at the root of a word and understand what that word means and apply that from a medical application standpoint. Uh, we talk about the equipment, the common veterinary uh, medical equipment that will be used. Also for some of you that um, may train a veterinary science team uh, as a CDE, then this, we do have all of the equipment that could be tested for in that CDE. We go through the math application, which is super important in vet science um, in terms of calculating dosage and things like that. Um, then we talk about the external anatomy of animals as well as go into the breed identification of both large and small animals. And then we get into that, um, the body systems and how they work. So the anatomy and physiology of the different body systems. And then we talk about diseases and parasites. And then we get into the actual application of veterinary medical skills. So if I was just to click on one of those, and I'm just going to click on blood samples as an example, all of the videos that go that, that begin with veterinary medical practices, again, that is a series that um, we will show actual application of skills in both a small and large animal scenario. But the first segment of each of these videos actually explains why, what's the, why, why am I conducting a blood test? And what should, what, if I have certain results, what do those results tell me? So students get a better understanding of what is blood in this instance. And if this type of blood cell is too high, this could mean this. Or if this type of blood cell is too low, this could mean this. That type of thing. So they get a better understanding of why drawing blood is even important and what, what we can do with those samples of blood in terms of determining 
treatment and diagnosis of certain um, illnesses or diseases. And then you come in and you click on the small animal or you click on the large animal and you're actually going to see a veterinarian practicing blood, and I'm gonna mute this for a click, practicing um, this specific skill. So in this instance, it would be blood samples. And so you will see him or her come in and give you an exact demonstration of how to do that. And they're like all of our lessons. Um, they have lesson plans, they have projects, they have assessments. So the veterinary, it's, it's a complete curriculum, just like all of our courses. Um, the veterinary, um, just like all of our courses. As Lindy mentioned um, in the beginning, if we go back to the my if we go back to the add a course and we go to the certification playlist options, then there is the opportunity for students to earn the Elanco Veterinary Medical Applications certification. So I'm just going to add that. This is a certification that we test for on this platform, a certification that is issued by Elanco. But in collaboration with Elanco, they came in and looked at this veterinary medical applications course, and they plucked out the lessons that they felt um, were most important for students to master, to be best prepared to enter, either go on to further their education in veterinary science or to enter like a certified, or, or to enter to work at a vet clinic. So if I open this playlist here that's specific to the certification, these are the lessons that they identified. So there are fewer lessons inside of this uh, uh, certification playlist than are inside of the course playlist. And again, Alanco came in and said, these are the ones that we feel like are the most important. So as students um, complete these lessons at 70% or better, and once they get to the end, then they have the opportunity to unlock a certification exam and they can take the certification exam to earn the certification. Now they do not have, the, the certification is open to anyone, uh, whether you're an ICEV user or not. So you do not have to use the ICEV preparation content to, to uh, take that certification exam issued by Elanco. But if you want to use the, cert the preparation content through ICEV to help individuals be more successful, that's available here for you. At the end, if the student uh, does pass that certification at 70% or better, or if the individual, uh, any, and again, that's open to not just students, it, it's open to all individuals. So use the term student because we're talking about a high school uh, classroom implementation scenario here. But keep in mind, the, the certification is open to all types of learners, not just those that are in high school classrooms. Those that earn, uh, pass this certification exam at 70% or better will receive a certificate uh, issued by Elanco with their, their logo, signed by an Elanco, um, Elanco representative, and something that they can put onto their resume, whether that's for a college entrance exam or whether that's just applying for a, a, a vet clinic or something like that. So that's kind of the, 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 that all in a nutshell, if you will, of how we created the vet science curriculum and then how that can lead to an industry certification. Is there anything else you'd like for me to add, Landy? Nope, I think that is a, that was a very good overview. Thank you, Clayton. And just wanted to add that, uh, don't forget to join the Q&A where you can find that link in the description. So thank you, Clayton.